Hello, I recently recorded a video called Quick Tour introducing the Quebec 1 bit 1 instruction transistor CPU. Some people liked it and some commented it was a bit long, so now there is a quicker tour. I'll keep I'll try to keep this under five minutes. So on the hardware level, this is the CPU. All that's in this box consists of a baseboard with several plug-in modules. And most of the modules implement the digital logic of the CPU. Two modules are a bit special. This one at the front is a local display. And this one at the back is an interface module sitting between the CPU's address and data bus and the PC. And while the CPU does all the calculation, all the execution of the program, the PC only acts as a serial RAM and ROM. So all the calculation is done here. There are two game ports. One and two, so you can connect the game controller to the uh, to the CPU, acting as an input. The plug-in modules look something like this. This happens to be a multiplexer. Um, it has a standard header, so you can plug it into a breadboard and examine it with an oscilloscope or a multimeter, so you can see exactly how it works. Another thing you can do is plug a flat cable into a socket where normally a module is, back to your breadboard, so you can re-implement the module. So you can try to improve it, for example. So, that was the hardware. Let's uh, run a few example programs for the CPU. Right. So what you see here is a very simple program. Um, showing a few patterns to see that the CPU works. Another program is uh, Game of Life, it's a cellular automaton. Another program is a very simple action game and using a game controller, something like this. This I'm still making, so we'll use uh, separate wires, loose wires um, in uh, the next example. Using a game controller you can use two cannons and shoot this bit at the top. Very simple Space Invaders. So these are example programs, and I will try to make a very small program using the input and output of the CPU. I'll, um, <coughs> I'll type and I'll write in command what I'm doing. So that's all. Wait for a button press, toggle the bit in the upper left corner, the pixel, then go back to start. Let's assemble this. And let's run it. So now you see nothing, and that is because the CPU is waiting for input for a button press. So instead of a button you have two wires, so if you connect them together. And if we set the CPU clock speed to a little bit less so you can see what's going on. If we connect them together, you see a pixel toggling in the upper left corner. The pixel is toggling as long as we keep the wires connected. So this is how input and output to the CPU works. Now, <coughs> let's go back to the program briefly. Um, what you can see here are three instructions, actually BC1, branch if clear, not, that's invert, and B for branch or jump. Now, but the CPU only has one instruction, so how does this work? Well, there is a file, um, one bit.assembly, where you can uh, use the single instruction of the CPU, IBC, to form new instructions. So you can build a better instruction set out of this single instruction. 
For example, move is a very common instruction, it's built out of smaller instructions. So this is a very much easier way to program than just using one single instruction. So that was it. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you want to see more, go over to qibec.org. There's a lot of documentation about the design and uh, also the assembler, the programming. And um, yeah, I hope you liked it. Uh, thank you for watching.